The Season 6 update to Overwatch 2 is fantastic, but it isn't without its problems. This video is not about dunking on the new content that we got from the Blizzard development team, because to be honest, I have actually started to enjoy myself. One of my favorite things about the new update is the new Hero Mastery system. This is the kind of thing Overwatch needed for so long. Being rewarded for every game that you play feels really good and wasn't a thing before, especially after the ranked 2.0 system where we don't even get to see our SR go up or down anymore. My problem with this system, however, is that it doesn't really help you master the hero in question. Sometimes it actually does quite the opposite. The character that brought this problem to my attention is Ana, specifically her grenades to ally statistic, which is something you don't want to do 90% of the time. Using the grenade to anti-enemies is quite literally what gives Ana her identity in a competitive setting. A system like this is geared towards the casual player to get them on the game more and feel accomplished with cool cosmetics even if they aren't a top 500 player. This is an opportunity to truly educate the player on the nuance every character applies to the game. When there are challenges added to the game, however, that push you to play a character in a certain way, it is likely to sway players to hyperfixate on one stat and force you to play incorrectly, especially when you need a considerable amount more friendly grenades than enemy grenades. It doesn't stop there either, however. Mercy has a section for blaster kills, and a considerable amount at that. Kiriko has the same problem regarding debuffs cleanse. Sometimes it is better to let a debuff wear off, especially anti-grenade when the enemy cannot follow up upon it. This is another case where a player that does not know any better is pushed to use that ability the wrong way instead of furthering their mastery on the character. The system is not all bad though. On most characters, it pushes players in the right direction even on Kiriko too. For example, Swift Step Escapes is what is highlighted, not just pure uses. This pushes players to consciously think about their rotations before the fight happens so that they have the ability to escape later down the road. What I'm getting at is that this is an excellent start for the mastery system, but there is some serious work that could be done to better it. The hero mastery section in the menu will definitely be a nice way to update the system and make it more concrete, but I know this won't solve all of the problems. Realistically, however, if characters get tweaks to what levels up their mastery to better steer new players in the right direction, this is a great way to create a more competitive and healthier ecosystem in the long run, which is what we really need for Overwatch 2 right now. Hero Mastery missions will better amplify the statistics players are working on to level up, but that needs to be refined first. From my experience with the system so far, you should look at the mastery system as a tool to redefine how you are playing the game, but make sure that you avoid doing things that are going to lose you games. So long as you don't hyper fixate on one stat, this should help you indicate where your broad problems are, but ask questions in the Discord, link in the description. I am moving back to Penn State this week, so that is why today's video was kept a little short. However, be ready because next week I plan on releasing some content on Ilari after I get some scrims in on the character. I've been really enjoying this season so far, so I can't wait to share that all with you. Thank you all so much for watching, but until next time, I've got a peace out and paz out. I'll see you in the next one.